present value of future cash. So look at here, you are going to get 1 crore at the end of 5 years and you are interested in knowing what is its today's worth. If you want to find out that you need one information that is at what rate you can invest the money you are going to have today. See, so you are basically trying to find out what is the value of this 1 crore now. So if you have it now at what rate you will invest you need that information if you have that you can find its present value so let us assume you can invest it at 10 percent and how do i say this 10 percent let's say banks are offering 10 percent return on deposits or let's say there are some debentures there are some bonds where i can invest for 10 percent so that is the minimum risk free return then easily i can find out the present value for that i'm going to borrow the future value formula this formula is not new for us probably in our grade 6 or grade 7 we would have studied this okay future value is nothing but present value multiplied by 1 plus i raised to the power n so here i stands for interest rate we assumed it as 10 percent n stands for the number of period and I told you it is 5 years because you are getting 1 crore at the end of 5th year. Okay. So you have two information on the right hand side and on the left hand side you have future value. And what is the future value? Here the future value is 1 crore which is received at the end of 5th year. Let's plug all this in the formula. Future value is 1 crore. Present value we are trying to find out multiplied by 1 plus interest rate 10%. 10 by 100 will be written as 0.1 okay to the power 5 so 1 crore is equal to present value into 1.1 to the power 5 and this 1.1 to the power 5 will give you 1.61051 take it to the right hand side in the denominator so you will have this and if you calculate you will get 62,9213 so what does this mean this means in future that is 5 years from now if you are going to get 1 crore its today's value is 62 lakhs. Look, 1 crore received 5 years from now, its today's value is 62 lakh. And what does that mean? This 62 lakh, if you invest at 10% for a period of 5 years, then its future value will be 1 crore. Okay, that's what we are trying to Infer. So, in what way this information or this value will help? This will help especially in investment scenario. Assume this is a investment in business. That is, you are going to invest in a business where the requirement is 62 lakh and you are committing this investment on the belief that you will get 1 crore 5 years from now. In that case, you have to invest only 62 lakh or if any amount less than 62 lakh is possible, than that because this investment will max max fetch only 1 crore. So here if you are going to invest any amount greater than 62 lakhs you will be losing because your future value is freezed here. In future what you are going to get is only 1 crore and its worth is only 62 lakhs now. So if you are going to invest any amount greater than that let's say 70 lakh then you are investing more let's say you are investing at least 8 lakhs more for getting the same return so which is actually a loss for you okay so in that angle finding present value is very important for us if you like this video do not forget to follow comment and share